Right, time for another video of my usual nonsense. Basically, um, an armor sleeve made on a gentleman named Josh or Joshua. So I sketched up how I wanted it to be in layers and wrote Heimdall and Valkyrie instead of drawing anything. This is very much how I sketch in the beginning, just loose and rough and weird. Um, and built the main structure of the whole piece. Um, and amazingly, I kind of stuck to that original drawing. Normally, I end up changing my concepts like 19 times before I've made it that far. But I really like the segmentation of the sleeve and the build-up and everything, so I actually went with it. <clears throat> Each of the scales are highly decorated with loads of little bind rooms. Um, the scales are based on pangolin scales. Um, and what I'm drawing on here is basically um, like a Celtic Nordic styled bear. Um, I had drawn it previously, I believe, and I'm in this video modeling it on top of Josh uh, while still trying to stick to the, the band buildup that I'd done. Um, I added a bind rune up on the shoulder itself because it's nice, graphic and powerful. And as you can see here, I'm sculpting that out with the surrounding sketch work for the, the knot work. Uh, back and forth, doing things, trying to plan things. So the knot work ended up being super complicated, which was really fun to do. Um, but it took a hell of a lot of planning because, well, getting your brains around all those knots is not always easy. Um, so sometimes I overcomplicated it, sometimes I took it down a notch. Um, I let here, like by the armpit, both back and front, I allowed the knot work to become looser, more round, um, and carry a little bit more live shapes as those areas will be moving a lot when Josh moves about, flapping his arms like a chicken or whatever the fuck he spends his time doing. Um, testing out the idea for the bind runes to see how that would work on top of another picture I took of him, playing around with density, contrasts, just generally working my way through the design before I actually apply it. Um, I think the most difficult part about this tattoo <clears throat> was to make the transition from the knot work band around the bind room and onto the chest piece and the back piece part. Creating that so it didn't look like it was just block pressed onto Josh, but both had the dynamic flow of his musculature, Josh is bloody big, and still tied into the rigidness of the form I'd created around his, his upper shoulder. That was kind of difficult. Um, it took me quite a few tries, but luckily it ended up pretty well. <clears throat> so when I create uh, characters, they start out looking ridiculous. Um, they do, honestly. I've I've always enjoyed the works of Bernd Hogarth, who did these uh, how like dynamic drawing books. Um, if you're unfamiliar with them, you should familiarize yourself with them if you do art, because they're really cool. Um, <clears throat> his way of constructing the human form is still stuck in my head. So it's still how I basically build up characters, even though I. Well, you'll see later in the video, the characters end up super stylized. Um, but to get them to look just a little bit right and not just be, well, not just be fucking boring, um, I use Hogarth's build up methods to create some sort of dynamic flow in them, and then I add layers of boredom. <laughs> like a librarian. Here's some boredom. Anyways, as you can see here on the right, it's much more stylized. That was just dotted in. Here's a bit of the drawings. I pulled in one of my old Valkyrie designs. That was, uh, it was a commission for a client. That was very, very content with it. It was a, an amalgamation of three different little Valkyrie figurines. Oh, we're on Heimdall now. Let's talk about him. God of watchfulness and blowing big horns um, and watching a rainbow bridge. Quite a cool character. Um, I wanted to depict Heimdall like really powerful um, and really epic. And I've previously done illustrations of him and we've done a t-shirt of him as well. 
I think I'd done the t-shirt right before I was supposed to start on Josh or something like that. Anyways, the design was quite fresh in my mind. So it was it was quite easy to, to just go into creating this epic guardian god blowing a horn. Um, it was a bit back and forth again, trying to like tie it into the existing knot work and create flow and movement. Um, as you will see in the video, I keep fiddling back and forth with the knots and with different layers. I, at some point I raced the whole damn thing. Oh, that's the design that we used for the t-shirt. There we go. Um, changing the horns on his helmet, changing the movement of the mighty Galahorn that he uses, changing his face, making him into what looks like an, an undead uh, zombie dwarf. Back and forth, back and forth. I've what, seven attempts or something like that to get this right. And then at some point I started going right and I started nailing it, I started getting the knot work right and everything just started flowing. And on the right of this video, you can see me tattooing Josh's nipple. Um, that was a fun day for everyone. He took that stoically, I should mention. Um, right. We'll get to the finished product later in the video. <clears throat> so you'll be able to see Heimdall finished and everything. On the last sessions when Josh came back, I realized that I kind of needed to encapsulate the whole tattoo. I wanted to frame it and have it... Uh, get it give it a feeling of being done and not something that was going to grow at a later point, but at the same time keep it optional to let it expand later. <clears throat> so what I did was um, create a very dark back backdrop with an extensive pattern slash bind room and then add not work elements as well. Um, and then I changed my mind, removed the bind rune elements and just went for the knot work part. Um, so my mum and styled in and out weavings just done in dot work. Same on the front with Heimdall. Just fill in the spaces, follow his follow Josh's form and Iwana. There's a bit of a contrast difference between the very healed tattoo and the new parts, of course, um, but that is to be expected. And when looking at this, I, I, I get the feeling that I actually know what I'm doing. Because the sleeve turned out pretty fucking well. So, all the bind runes on the arm, on the scales are unique. Giant bear finding a snake. I wanted to create a sleeve where the level of detail was really, really insane. But at the same time, clean lines. Lots of skin, lots of separation between dark and light, good contrast, bit of flow, but really complicated knot work. And I kind of feel I succeeded. Valkyrie. The wings on the Valkyrie was really weird to do because there's there's no good big wings to copy from. Wings and Nordic ornaments tend to be quite boring in most cases. Like they're, they're very simplified. <clears throat> where a normal bird wing, for example, has many, many layers. In Nordic ornamental styles, it's just four feathers tied in with each other. So I allowed myself to make something messy and complicated. So when you look at the Valkyrie immediately, it might not be the first thing you spot that it's a wing, but if you know it, then you'll see it. It's a giant ass, weird, not work wing. That was about it. Um, it was one hell of a journey to do this tattoo. I am once again at a place where I don't know how to outdo myself. So, um, that'll be fun. Bring me some challenges. I completely forgot to mention. Um, Josh and his girlfriend are the first of my clients to have jumped on board with um, a project that we're doing. Um, we, we've decided to, uh, to fight back against the world. No, we've decided to plant some trees. Um, collaborating with um, an organization called One Life, One Tree that plants giant sequoia trees here in England, um, which is a really cool project. My next video will be about that, but I just wanted to, well, give you all a little teaser about it. It's a really cool project. And secondly, say thank you to Josh and his partner for jumping on board with that. It's really cool that you were so immediately 
on board with it and just went, yes, let's do this. Um, unexpected and really nice. Thank you for that. And for the rest of you, go save the planet. <laughs>